Hi everyone, Tammy here, and I'm going to show you how to make this cute little heart with googly puppet eyes. So first you're going to just need some acrylic yarn or cotton yarn, whatever your preference is. I'm using, I love this yarn in Cherry Blossom. It's acrylic yarn, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I've got the small version of the googly-eyed puppet eyes. And I'm using a size 4.00 millimeter crochet hook. So if you use a bigger hook, your um, little heart guy is just going to be bigger. If you use a smaller one, he's just going to be smaller. And then you're going to need scissors and a yarn needle. So to begin, we're going to take our yarn and we're going to start with a slip knot. So however you like to make your slip knot. You want to make sure your tail is a little bit longer because what I like to do is start with an I cord when I chain my initial um, six chains and I'll explain that when we do that. So I just have my I cord, my tail a little bit longer and up at the top here I have my fingers and here's my working yarn and there's my tail. I'm just going to take my two fingers at the top loop, twist and then grab this here working yarn and pull it through to create that loop. And now I'm going to put my crochet hook in the center of that loop and pull that working yarn to make that loop not so big. Now if you're not comfortable doing the I cord part, what I'm going to show you next, then you can just go ahead and chain six and join to form a ring. But I like to do the I cord part this way. I don't have to weave in my tail. It's already done for me. So to do the I cord, we're going to do six of those. You just take this little tail and you're going to put it over your crochet hook like that. You can move your fingers over those two loops if it helps. And then just kind of hold at the base there. Yarn over. Bring that yarn through those two loops. And that's one. And we're going to do that again. So we're going to take that tail Bring it up and over your crochet hook. Hold the base here of your crochet work. If you need to hold the loops here with your finger, you can. Yarn over and bring it through those two loops, and that's two. And this is working an I cord. So your tail over your hook again. Yarn over. Bring that yarn through those two loops. That's three. And again, put your tail over your crochet hook yarn over and go through those two loops. That's four. And again, that tails over that crochet hook. Yarn over and go through both loops. That's five. And we'll do it one more time. And this is six. And now I know sometimes people have a hard time trying to join to the first one to create a circle. So what you can do, what is easier, is pull up that loop on your crochet hook so you don't lose it. And then looking at your work, you can see the top here, the stitches. You can go all the way to your first one. If you need to count, you can go ahead and count backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And insert your hook underneath those two loops of your sixth one from the big loop or your first one, whichever way you wanna look at it. Insert your crochet hook and then go ahead and grab that loop that you took off your hook and pull that working yarn so that loop's not so big anymore. And then just grab that loop and pull it through to join to create that ring, just like that. And you can either work around this little tail, snip it off, whatever you wanna do, but it's all worked into that I cord. If you just did a chain of six and joined with a slip stitch to create a ring, then you're going to want to make sure to um, weave in this tail later on. So next we're just going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a treble crochet in the center of that circle. So to do a treble crochet you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook two times. So one, and two, and then you're gonna insert your hook into the center of that ring, yarn over, bring that yarn through and up, and now you should have four loops on your hook. 
you're going to yarn over, go through two loops, that leaves you with three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over again and go through two loops again, that leaves you with two loops. You're going to yarn over and go through the last two loops again, and that's your first treble crochet. And we're going to do that again, so you can just slide that over. That chain three is not going to count as anything it's just there to give us height we're going to skip over that when we join but for now we're just going to go ahead and make some more treble crochets so go ahead and do another treble crochet so yarn over twice on your hook insert your hook into the center of that ring yarn over bring that through and up you have four loops on your hook you're going to yarn over go through two yarn over again Go through two loops again, yarn over again, and go through the last two loops. And that's your treble crochet. We're going to continue, and we want to do a total of four treble crochets before we add our little puppet eyes. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the center, yarn over, bring that through and up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through the last two and again yarn over twice insert your hook in the center yarn over bring that through and up you have four loops yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go through the last two and there's our four treble crochets and that's not counting that chain three that we did in the beginning so now we're going to take our little puppet eyes and we want to put that just on top doesn't really matter where just as long as your eyes are looking at you and we want to work a total of 15 treble crochets so we have four treble crochets already we need to do 11 more and what we're going to do is we want to work the last 11 treble crochets in the little ring here of the puppet eyes and the circle here of, at the base at the same time so let's yarn over twice, insert your hook right here in the ring of the puppet eyes, and then also in the ring of the base, and then yarn over, bring that yarn through that ring and the puppet eye ring. You have four loops, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go th through the last two. And then we're gonna do that again so yarn over twice insert your hook again in the center of that puppet ring and the center of your yarn base yarn over bring that through and up you have four loops yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over and go through two had to pull some yarn so I stopped the camera real quick and then I just snipped my little tail so that was two so we're gonna do yarn over twice insert our hook in the center of that ring and the base ring yarn over bring that yarn through both and up you have four loops yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and again yarn over go through two and you can slide those over if you need to. Just hold on to both of those and slide them over. And let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see the treble crochet being done into the ring and the base of the yarn. So we're yarning over twice, inserting our hook into the center there of both pieces, yarning over, bringing that yarn through both pieces and up four loops on your hook, yarning over, going through two, yarning over, going through two, yarning over, and going through the last two. And that's our treble crochet. So make sure and go ahead and complete working your treble crochets in between the two rings. You want a total of 11 in between the two rings, and then plus your four here. So I will uh, meet you guys back once you're done completing your 11 in the ring, which you should have a total of 15 treble crochets. So I'll see you guys back at 
the end of your total amount of 15 treble crochets. Okay, I finished my 15 treble crochets. So now what we want to do is join with a slip stitch to the top of our first treble crochet that we made. So we're gonna skip that chain three that we did and just go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the top of that first treble crochet that we did. And then we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the next one. And now we're gonna work a chain of three. So one, two, and three. And in the next stitch, we're gonna work three treble crochets. So we're gonna yarn over twice, insert our hook into that next stitch, yarn over, bring that yarn through and up, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through the last two loops. And we wanna do a total of three in that same stitch. So go ahead and do three treble crochets into that same stitch. That was two, and this is number three. And now in our next stitch, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna work three treble crochets. So this is one. This is two. And number three. And then in our next one, we're gonna do the same thing. So three treble crochets into the next one. So this is one. This is number two. And this is number three. In our next stitch, we're gonna work one double crochet. So that's just yarn over once. Insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, bring that yarn through and up. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through two. That leaves two loops. Yarn over again and go through the last two loops and that's your double crochet. And now we're gonna work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then one more double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna work a treble crochet into the next stitch. So that's yarning over twice, inserting your hook into that stitch yarning over bringing that through and up you have the four loops you're going to yarn over and go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go through two chain one and now you're going to work a double crochet into that next stitch and then a double crochet into the next two stitches so this is one and then the next one is two. In the next stitch, we're gonna work three treble crochets. So that's yarning over twice on your hook. Inserting your hook, yarning over, bringing that through and up. You have four loops. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. And you did that three times. And we wanna do two more in there. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook in that same stitch and work your treble crochet. And again, you wanna make sure that you have three in that stitch. In the next one, we're gonna do three treble crochets again. That's one.
next one we're going to work our three trebles again and that is where we went and slip stitched in the beginning to get over to the other part of the heart so that's one this is two and then this is number three And now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're just going to join, if you look at your stitches here, where your chain three is coming out of in the beginning there, we just want to join to the base of that slip stitch right there. So I'm just going to join from the back. So I'm going to take my loop off of my hook and just pull it up a little bit so I don't lose that stitch. I'm going to make sure my working yarn is behind my project. And then I'm just going to take my crochet hook and insert it from the back to the front under that there stitch, like so. Turn my work around and then grab that loop and put it back on my hook. And just kind of hold it there and then just pull it through like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull that working yarn so that loop's not so big. And then snip that yarn. And then pull it through. And then of course I would weave in my ends. But I'll do that later. And then there's your beautiful little part. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. And you can adjust your little eyes if you need to to make sure they're nice and centered. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love making them. They're nice and quick and fast. If you have any questions, let me know.